Hello, my dear students. It's Miss Noha, your science teacher. Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to start a new lesson, lesson two. So our lesson is called Day and Night Patterns. Before we start, we will go through the lesson objective quickly. Students will make observations. Observations means uh, they will watch to predict or to guess uh, patterns of day and night. So let's begin. We always start with the science probes. Why? Uh, because uh, I know we didn't start the lesson yet, but uh, this is just for the students to guess the answer. And by the end of the lesson, they will go back to the science probes and uh, check if their answer was correct or not. So open up with me page 25 in your book page 25 which friend has the best idea about why we have day and night so every day you wake up in the morning you see the sun and you sleep at night but have you ever thought what causes day and night uh, we have four uh, friends we will see what they think and I need you to guess maybe you thought about it before or you asked your mom and dad mom what causes day and night so maybe you have an idea so let's see, uh, Dave, I think it is because Earth spins all the way around each day. Benito, I think it is because Earth goes around the sun once each day. Hashi, I think it is because the sun goes around Earth once each day. Maribel, I think it is because the sun goes up and down once each day. So I need you right now to guess and please shade your answer, uh, shade the circle if it's your answer for me. I think I will choose Dave. Maybe you can choose someone else. You will see which answer is correct at the end of the lesson. Okay, now I need you to open up page 26. Let's discover something new we didn't uh, know about it before. Okay, look at this picture. Do you know what is it? I Maybe you you didn't see it before it's a tool that is used long long time ago to tell the time because they did not invent the clock or the hand watch so they used what they used the Sun and the shadow to tell them the time so let's watch this uh, small video about the, the sundial Okay, let's watch the uh, sundial and see how they used it to tell the time. You can see the shadow is moving. Okay, open up page 27. Look at the photo. Watch the video we did. What do you think it means when the shadow moves? What did you observe? Okay, let's think about it. We saw the shadow is moving and long time ago people used this tool which is called the sundial to uh, know or to tell the time. So this device is a sundial. It's called the sundial. Why? Because we use the sun uh, to tell the time. It tracks the movement of the sun and casts a shadow to show the time. So this is a new tool. You haven't uh, heard about it before. We discovered it today. Okay, now let's begin our actual lesson. Open up page 31 and please focus with me to get started. It's page 31. Okay. Earth moves. Did you know that Earth is moving? I think you did. So I need you to look here. We have three objects in front of us and we took them last time. This is what? This is the sun and that is earth and that is the moon. Now we will know how earth is moving around the sun in a circle. Okay, so earth is moving around the sun as you can see in the circle. What about the moon? The moon is moving around earth in a circle. So again, Earth is moving around the sun in a circular circle 
and the moon is moving around Earth in a circle. So let's highlight the important parts. Earth moves around what? Earth moves around the sun. We just said it. Earth is moving around the sun. The moon moves around what? The moon moves around Earth. Okay. It takes how long for Earth to make one complete uh, rotation or uh, moving around the sun? It takes about 365 days, which makes a whole year. To move all the way around the sun, which makes uh, a whole year. You have a video here if you want to check it. I will leave it in the PowerPoint presentation. So again, Earth is moving around the sun and it takes about 365 days. This number is very important. Please circle it also, highlight it and circle it. It takes 365 days to move around the sun. What about the moon? We, the moon, we will talk about it in details next time. But the moon also moves around Earth and it takes about one month. It takes about what? One month. Let's look at this picture and uh, um, discover the movement of Earth in details. Again, we have three objects. Can you name them? This is the sun, Earth, the moon. Earth is moving around what? It's moving around the sun. And it takes how long? 365 days, which makes about one year. What about the moon? The moon is moving around Earth in a circle. Okay, and it takes how long? It takes about one month. Now it's time for the question that you have been asking from the beginning of the lesson. What causes day and night? Means every day we are waking up in the morning and we are sleeping at night. It's dark at night and it's bright in the morning. What causes day and night? Okay, now we will know the answer. You have here the sun in front of you and that is earth. Earth is spinning. Earth is spinning. So... Half of the earth that is facing the sun, it has daytime. And what about the other half? The other half that is facing away from the sun, it's night time. So now we know the answer. Finally, let's check if you understood today's lesson or not. I will ask some questions and you need to answer them before I say the answer. Okay. Let's start with the first question. Earth moves around the... I will show you a picture, a hint. Earth is moving around what? I think all of you said the answer before I say it. Yes. Earth moves around the sun. Correct answer. Okay. We have another question. It takes Earth about how long to move around the sun? Hmm. It takes how long to move around the sun? Earth is moving around the sun. It takes how long? I will give you choices. A, two days. B, 365 days. What's your answer? I'm sure you are saying the answer right now out loud and everyone heard it. Yes, it's 365 days. Okay, third question. The what moves around Earth? What is moving around Earth? You have a picture here to help you. What is moving around Earth? What do you think? It is the moon. Correct. The moon moves around Earth. Okay, thank you all for today. I will just show you the um, worksheet that you have to solve it today. Okay, that is your worksheet for today. Please do not forget to write your name. Uh, first, you will label here these two objects. And then you will answer these questions. Earth moves around the, you have choices, sun, rocks, moon. 
Number two, it takes Earth about how long to move around the sun? A, 267 days, B, 365 days, C, 2 days. Please solve your classwork and send it back to me. Thank you all for listening and see you next time. Bye.